Granbury, where a youth pastor is facing several charges of sexual assault. Don't look away. Lakeside Baptist Church is about 40 miles outside. Fort Turn it up. Richard Solomon has been working to get more details and joins us live outside the church. Y'all are too trusting. Just You're too trusting. Well, Chris, actually, more charges have come down within the last few hours or so. Right now, Luke Cunningham, who was a former youth minister here at Lakeside Baptist Church in Granbury, is charged with two counts of sexual assault of a child. And oh, also no. One count. Not the all American white guy. Not this safe looking white face. Oh, no, it can't be. Say it ain't so. A white guy raped. Oh, wow of aggravated sexual assault. Now the church says the alleged assaults happened at a different church all the way in Lubbock. And according to jail records, Cunningham was arrested yesterday and is still sitting in jail as we speak. Now the Lakeside Baptist Church said in a statement, it made the announcement to his congregation back on June 2nd after they learned Cunningham was accused of inappropriate conduct with a minor at another church. Now, he was employed here wow. for a little over two years. They say wow. Cunningham was suspended immediately, then they let him go shortly after. Now, the church reported the information to Granbury and Lubbock Police, and according to this statement, the assault happened during his time at the Turning Point Community Church. Now, that's in Lubbock. That's where Cunningham worked previously as a student pastor from 2016 to 2020. Now, in a statement from the lead pastor at Turning Point, he said, they learned about the allegations from the pastor in Granbury. Turning Point says the allegations were brought to the church's attention after his employment, not during or before. They say in part, while Luke served on our staff, we received no complaints, no allegations, nor had any suspicion of wrongdoing. Now, Lakeside Baptist did say they are not aware of any assaults happening here on their campus. Both churches say they are it's, cooperating I, I fully with <sighs> So, the, I guess the Catholic Church didn't rape enough children for y'all that you still feel comfortable leaving your kids alone with some random, some random white guy, you know? Catholic Church didn't, didn't rape enough boys or enough little girls that you are now going out and finding more churches. Who in the fuck are these people still leaving children alone with white men? It's my question because I'm not I'm not questioning the fact that a white man can get a job at one church and then rape up everybody at that church and then go re rape or commit more rape at another church. My my here's here's what I struggle with. How do white men keep getting the opportunity to rape? Who's providing them with the opportunity to rape? See, this is why I didn't bring my daughters around Christian pastors. Because my first primary fear wasn't that they were going to teach them some screwed up ass doctor and like, give me 10% of your money. That wasn't my concern. My concern was that they were going to rape them. So the safest place for my daughters were far away from a church. I had a no church rule with my daughters because I knew how dangerous preachers are. Preachers rape in the name of Jesus. They use Jesus as a numbing. They use Jesus as a date rape drug in order to separate a woman or a child from their genitalia. This is what preachers do. They've been doing it. Okay. This ain't no new shit. It wasn't new when Jim Jones did it. Jim Jones convinced a bunch of black men to give him they, they, to, to bend over and, and give up their asshole. Black men who, when he entered the church, didn't go in as homosexual, that he converted to homosexual by convincing him through doctrine that they're supposed to supply him with fresh assholes every day. Then got mad. I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you the whole story because, you know, my messy black ass. Then the white boy got mad. And then they put out a memo. Jim Jones put out a memo, had his church secretary put out a memo that the men are to douche to make sure there's no feces in their rectum because he don't like poo on his on his on his dick. That's how dangerous church is. To you, your your children and everybody else, stop being so trusting with people around your kids. If 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 you're gonna if you're gonna let 
the white man rape your asshole, at least defend your child from rape. That's the least you could do is protect women, infant and children. I call it the wick rule. You should have one too. Stupid ass.